What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome y'all to a one take review, and today I'm reviewing an epic chapter of One Piece, chapter 860. The party begins at 10. This was a good ass chapter of One Piece. We got a new sweet commander. Uh, we got to see some new characters, which One Piece always does. They throw in a million characters, so you forget the people you've seen way back in the beginning of One Piece. You have to go watch the series completely over again. Just to remember people. But uh <laughs> this have to start this chapter is pretty good. Started off with uh Jim Bay and Peckham's and the fish man, Jim Bay telling his crew like, uh basically, you know what? I'm joining the Straw Hats. And we we seen why big uh we also saw why Jim Bay didn't spend uh the roulette is because it's his punishment wasn't just going to be on him. It was, I mean, it was going to be on his crew, too. And so he didn't want to put his crew in danger, which, which was, you know what I'm saying, dope. And he, he finally told him, like, you know, it's not about if I'm going to draw the straw hats. It's, it's just a matter of when and, you know, when I get the chance. I'm pretty sure uh, after this arc, he'll pretty much be become an official, official member of the straw hat. If he makes it out this damn arc. Wouldn't be surprised if Jinbei died. I think, I think Jinbei kind of like foreshadowed himself dying when he said, uh, I, I would die for my captain. May, it may, then again, it may not happen this hard, but I think uh, it kind of just like foreshadowed Jinbei end up dying. Uh, who knows? Man? He might live, but like you do, when they say things like that, they, they end up, you know, kicking the bucket. Oh, yeah, and he was talking to Pe Peckham. Uh, I don't know if Peckham's got on the ship or not. Uh, I, in my opinion, they might have forcefully put him on there. Uh, that's what I would have did. But I, you, I, shit, it's already going to go bad. We don't need him making matters worse. Uh, running and telling Big Mom like the little punk that he is. Uh, and we got the little uh, pig carriage pulled up. I, 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 I didn't understand the pig carriage. But, hey, it's one piece. I don't understand a lot. They pull it up, and let me tell you something. This this dude right here, these two were probably my favorite two that pulled up, and, and that's Black Market King, God of Fortune, Defailed, Dufailed. I, I can think of how you name Dufailed. He looked like a boss. Scar, like anybody with a scar on their face, dope to me. Anybody. Like, Got the scar on his face. He smoked a cigar. Cigar is cool to me too. And if you've seen my, you seen the uh, free I mean, the I can say Vegeta video. You know why I'm personally like cigars. Uh, so that was dope. Uh, he looks like a badass. I don't know exactly what he's gonna do. Oh, you know, I'm pretty sure all these guys had their fruit powers. It's pretty much like a thing. Uh, and the, the, the other favorite was a. Uh, Wow. Did I? Oh, man. It's right there. My bad. My nose. I'm, I'm looking like I know how to put him down. The great Martisan drug, Piccolo. He looked like the. I, I don't know. It's it's the sight, probably. It's it's just. Anybody who carries a sight like this, and you just walk around with a sight. Like, come on, man. It, you you got to love it. Like, you got to love it. Uh, we got the princess, princess of Pleasure, the Pleasure Quarter, Stussy. Princess of Pleasure. Hey, hey. Can't tell me you weren't thinking it. Can't tell me one of y'all. Somebody wasn't thinking it. Y'all know what I, uh, I'd love for Sanji to meet her and go to wherever, that, wherever the pleasure island is, a pleasure quarter. I, I would love to see Sanji go there. Y'all yeah, both died in the fishman arc with all the mermaids. So I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> he died going, going now. Definitely. That's. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. That's maybe it's something else. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Oda likes to, you know, throw a curveball. Uh, yeah, the president of the World Economic Time, Big News Morgan, like Big Bird. Uh, I guess that's why all the um, the news be delivered by birds. But he looked like Big Bird to me. Uh, shout out to Big Bird. Uh, <laughs> that's that's what he looks like. Uh, and we got. The store shipping Titan, the concealer Gibson, he getting drunk. I mean, you hear him getting drunk. Uh, well, you don't hear him getting drunk. 
But hey, when you read these panels, use your imagination and pretend like you hear you assign everybody a voice. It might be better for you. Uh the shipping mag magnate magnet. Nice bad magnet. Deep ocean current unit. Uh, I didn't really care. He looked like he, he looked like a guy who didn't really want to be there. To be honest, uh, we got him, and they're all walking, and then they they just not arriving, and then they head up up there with Big Mom and all that. Y'all know that's not with y'all. If you read this chapter, you know what you want to hear about. I mean, those guys are cool. Don't get me wrong, and I think they are all gonna play a a part in what's about to go down uh, or, or in the future. I mean, I don't think he just introduces characters for nothing. I don't think Oda just, you know, just typically does that. Uh, so I think they're all going to play a part in a way, but in my opinion, I wouldn't mind if damn Capone killed half these people and just started, like, I, I don't know. I, I, that's that's probably, uh, most, like, about 100% sure that won't happen. But it's just, you know, I just like Capone. I want him to just run everything. Like, I just want Capone to run, like, everything on the world and stuff like that. Except if we get Crocodile. If Crocodile's coming back, I want Crocodile to run everything. Like, I know that's one of my favorite One Piece characters, Croc, Croco Boy. Uh, but anyway, moving forward. Uh, we're outside, and we're waiting, and the guy pulls up, and... I forgot the guy's name. Uh, I mean, it really doesn't matter. He's dead now anyway. And uh, he was like, hey, man, I'm trying to get in, bro. Uh, <laughs> this is basically how it went. Like, bro, I'm trying to get in, man. Uh, I couldn't go to the last tea party. Mom invited me to, man. My mama was dead. I had to go to her funeral, bro, man. Tell her, mom, I'm sorry. You know, she, she know me. She know, she know I'm good for it. Uh... Yeah, and, 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 and she understood. You know, I, I told I sent her a letter, so uh, she sent me one back with my daddy head in it. You know, you know, so, so you know, I'm just trying to come in. Capone, you know, big boss Capone, like, nah, bro, you ain't getting in. You get back, you know, what I'm saying, get back, man. And then we see. I thought it was when I saw it. I thought it was a bullet, of course. I thought he just got shot in the head. I'm like, damn, who shot the dude in the head? Wasn't a bullet, it was a damn jelly bean. <sighs> Boy, you has to be some serious to shoot somebody in the head with a jelly bean and it go through their skull. You gotta be some tough, some bitch to do some stuff like that. And you gotta be cold and cruel. Could have shot it in his mouth and just been then just been like, yo, I was trying to feed him a jelly bean. <laughs> that would have been dope too. Yeah, I quote, hey, I'm. I need to start writing this stuff down. Uh, so yeah, so we we get another sweet commander with the highest confirmed bounty in the One Piece world, Dog Tooth Charlotte, aka Charlotte Katakuri. Even got a dope name now. Dog Tooth not so dope, but Katakuri, boy. I, Boy, I caught the boy. I caught the cootie, boy. Listen, <laughs> and he probably the dopest character we've seen. Like that big mom run with it. Oh, big mom, other character, uh, other subordinates. Like eh, Crocker was looked at kind of cool. He had a scar on his face, so eh, you know I give people pass for a scar on his face. Uh, but like he looks the dopest. He just like he's flipping up in the jelly. Like, come on, man! You gotta love category already. And plus, his his bounty's higher. The last highest bounty we had was Jack. If you know me, you know how much I love Jack. I love Kaido's whole crew, and like Jack was a boss. Katakuri looks like more of a boss than Jack. Like he looks like some rogue. You know who he reminds me of? I hate to do the comparison thing. But it reminds me of Zabuza from Naruto. Had to throw that in now. Last episode, of one, I mean, Naruto came on today, so I had to throw it in a little reference. But he does look like uh, Zabuza to me a little bit. And he looked like, dang, the dude looked like he's a damn gunslinger and from the West or something. He, he, I love his character design. And, and that's not even the best part. 
the guy's observation hockey is so high and so strong that he can see a little bit into the future. When Capone says that, I automatically just start thinking, Capone, are you like stupid as hell? You comes up with a plan knowing this guy has this ability? Like, you know, knowing his hockey is like this good. You're, if, if, listen, if last week didn't make you just think, like, the plan's going to go to shit, this week has to. Like, period. Period. I mean, period. Period. Okay? Like, there's no way. It's, like, every, he's going to see everything coming. And, and he's kind of like, he kind of like big boy Capone, like, yo. You know what I'm saying? Just say, okay, I understand. Okay, I just, like, and like, even even Capone said, like, he's the most trouble out of everybody. Oh, if you didn't catch the bounty, one billion fifty-seven million. What the hell you had to do to get a bounty that high? He gotta be Big Mom's like top dog. Like, go handle that for me. Okay, boom. Okay, Mama, I got you. He's the second son. <clears throat> like, I think there's one more sweet commander. I'm, I may be mistaken. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure, but I, I might, I might be forgetting somebody or, or not. But uh, I'm excited to see what he does. I'm, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen at this tea party because shit's gonna go crazy. There's gonna be a whole bunch of boy. It's from like the tomorrow. Tomate Tomate Baco, the box. They got some fishmen. I, I always mess screw up the pronunciation. Uh, you got that. Uh, you got the Vismos trying to get killed. Uh, you got Capone's plan. You got the Sweet Commanders. You got these people. All these people from the underworld. You got the Straw Hats. You got Jim Bay. I mean, you got you got Gangster Gastino. Can't forget about him. He might turn on people. Like, you got like what's about to happen is finna be crazy. You him it's finna be crazy and very enjoyable for us readers. Yeah, I'm, I'm 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 highly looking forward to this. You know, it's going to be something special. I think it's going to be one of those special finales. I'm not gonna. I'm not the biggest fan of the whole K, the whole K Island arc, but I think all that's going to pay off in this this culmination of things because everything's about to go down very very soon, and shit's about to get real. But tell me what you guys think is gonna happen because listen, if I came up with, a, I might do a prediction video of what, what I think is gonna happen. Uh, most likely going to be totally wrong, but you, who cares? It doesn't matter. Bro. I'm not going to be the only person that's going to be wrong. I guarantee you that. But uh, tell me what you guys think is going to happen. Are you enjoying this? Uh, what did you think about Katakuri? Which one was your? Which one of those underwear bosses was your favorite? Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Leave, leave a comment. Like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at official big dog. Follow me on Twitter at official big dog underscore. And this has been another one take review.